Indeed, sporting events are the sort of thing which can drag cultures together across boundaries which are otherwise much harder to breach. Or maybe that was just the few beers we had during the game clouding my thoughts. But by the end of our three-plus hours of cheering for the Yokohama Bay Stars as a group of five Americans surrounded by the team's more passionate fans in the bleachers, I felt like we really had experienced a bit of modern Japanese culture. And we had a ton of fun. Much like from the bleachers in Yankee Stadium, player introductions include a roll call where each player has a specific cheer. There is the band and the cheerleaders who make sure that the crew watching from the outfield stays engaged and is working together to cheer on their team. Of course, we had no idea what they were saying, save for the occasional times we heard the name Yokohama in the chants, but there was definitely some fun happening there, and they were all very much into the experience. There is also a tradition of releasing balloons during the seventh inning stretch, which I do not entirely understand, but it made for a nice souvenir to bring home from the game. And when something good happens, like a home run from the home team, the intensity of the cheering reaches fevered levels and doesn't really stop. It was incredible. This was not my first sports event on foreign soil, and it won't be my last. They are just way too much fun. Besides, I might even manage to learn the cheers eventually if I keep going to the games.